and thank you for tuning into the Mayday News. I've made so many mistakes trying to introduce this, I'm just going to keep it very simple. Uh, the Mayday News is basically where we bring you a couple of news stories from around the recruitment industry and just uh, stories that we think you may be interested in. And we also share the latest roles that the Mayday employment team are trying to fill. So I've got my trusted white pad. For any of you who've watched this before, you know that I always have my trusted white pad. And I'm just going to read out some of the stories that I've actually found that you guys might find interesting. So. Wages rise as employers fight for talent in tough labour market. Um, people with in-demand uh, skill sets are benefiting sorry, from salary negotiations. So employers are actually are looking to pay more to get the, the person they perceive as the right person to ensure obviously they fill the, the skill gap in their organisation. Um, as we're aware that not all employers can afford this, um, employers need to review the, the benefits that they, that they offer. So this could be flexible working, the, the workplace culture. They just need to review that to ensure that they are actually attracting the talent they need. Because it's surprising, well not surprising, but actually a lot of people don't really concern themselves with the salary anymore according to this story. Uh, a lot of people are also looking for the, the benefits as well as the workplace culture, the, the flexible working, they're willing to take a little bit hit of the salary. But if you've got an in-demand skill set, you, you can negotiate. Uh, the second story is apparently, <laughs> this one's going to be for me, millennials cause generation, generational conflict in the workplace. Can I just yeah, of course you can. At this point, he's looking at me because I'm old, by the way. Okay? <laughs> uh, so, according, dubbed the most impatient generation in the workplace with over 90% wanting rapid career progression. Um, almost 70% of employers believe this is the leading cause between um, generations, so the leading cause of conflict between the generations. Uh, these findings come from a Robert Walters uh, white paper and they surveyed 2,000 people on how to retain millennials. Yeah. So um, other areas of conflict, they believe, uh, because of this, so workplace culture, um, technology, tailored approach, experience, and uh, millennials' inter international aspirations. Yeah. So apparently millennials are a pain. But the well, I can tell you that first hand. <laughs> from working with them. As always, the links will be posted below so you can actually go and read up on these stories. But that's um, that's it from the, the Mayday Daventry office. I hope you enjoyed those uh, those news clips. We're going to go to Meg, who's got the roles. So, bye. Hi, Kristen. <laughs> Shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> you know what? Let's keep going. Hi, you're all right. Um, nice to meet you. So, <laughs> I'm here with some jobs for Banbury, Daventry and places in between. Um, what we've got at the moment is we've got some roles at first line. So we've got some part-time roles going at first line, which is Monday to Friday, and that's 15 hours, um, which is in the afternoon. And we're also looking for a bailer for that as well. And that would be full-time Monday to Friday, I think it's eight till six. Um, but obviously if you're interested in that, let us know and we'll give you some more information about it. We're also looking for a PPT driver for DCS. If you have a valid PPT license or um, obviously an unvalid one, the opposite of valid, <laughs> um, or any other sort of forklift um, experience, anything like that, please get in contact um, because we might be able to put you forward for the PPT position if you are interested. Um, we're also looking for automotive line operatives for a company based in Banbury. They are a multitude of shifts and we've got the information below. Same with bakery operatives. We have um, two different bakeries that we're looking for operatives for. Um, if you're interested in that role as well, the job description will be below. All of the job descriptions will be below. I'm not going to say that anymore. Um, part <laughs> we're looking for a part-time stock and premises supervisor based in Banbury. Project support officer, also based in Banbury. Uh, paint sprayer and general operatives. Now this role will need one year automotive experience and also a CV. So do not apply for the role unless you have one year automotive experience or else you will not be seen. And we are also looking for a telemarketing agent based in Banbury as well. Slightly outside of Banbury, we are looking for landscapers. Now you need to be happy to work outside because this will obviously be outside as landscaping. You need to be happy to be outside for a long period of time. Uh, we're also looking for class one drivers for days and nights for a client of ours based in Brackley. And we are looking for a cleaning operative for a company uh, based in Stowe, Buckingham. Now, Daventry. 
we're looking for a head chef and a chef de parte uh, <laughs> for a company for a gastro pub <laughs> for a gastro pub in Daventry uh, and we are also still looking for a senior customer sales executive for a company based in South Daventry and finally, we are looking for a accounts payable temporary position in Chipping Norton. That is all of the jobs, why I say all. We've still got quite a few more, but as you can tell, if I say any more jobs, I'm just going to fall backwards onto this chair. Um, <laughs> so, have a nice day. I'll see you later. I'm just going to do it anyway. <laughs>